Welcome to Change. I'm Bonnie Carlin from the Senior Cafe at the Barn in Schomburg, and I'm delighted to be with you today. Uh, we are going to be talking about travel. You've worked hard all your lives and now you're retired. So it's about time to have some fun. And now that you have the time to go on a vacation, um, this is like anticipating new places and uh, things that you've never done before. So we're going to sort of review that process uh, in this program. But before I start, I'd like to introduce our panel. We have Karen Chattaverdi and Barbara May, both from the senior um, uh, barn in Schomburg. And uh, welcome, both of you, Thank to you. the program. Um, First, Kieran, I'd like to ask you, why do we need to take a trip or have a vacation? Number one thing is we need little change. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to change our routine also mm -hmm. because working 24 hours, you know, uh, you are working at work, you are working at home. Mm -hmm. So we need to get out and, you know, get to rejuvenate on that. Mm -hmm. So we have to do something to change. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, if you, very simple one, on bed sheet, why we change that? That's true. Yeah. Okay. But when you change the bed sheet, you feel very good, you know, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, we did something. Change is so important, mm -hmm. whether it is, you know, we are going to on vacation, we want to bring some changes in ourselves, you know, mm -hmm. and have time for our uh, future that how we can do that, you know. Yeah, yeah. that's very important. Um, Barbara, do you have anything to add to that? or No, I think you need a lot of change. Everybody does. Yeah, you know? and periodically, the, yes. throughout the year, not just once a year, right? They're right. <laughs> <laughs> Keep us interested. Um, do you have any tips, Barbara, for seniors in preparing for a trip? Uh, we were, um, my f two of my friends and myself, we decided that one day we were going to go on a trip and uh, mm -hmm. we went to, we decided we were going to go to Dollywood in Tennessee. So I called up uh, AAA and mm -hmm. we got all the directions and routing and they had to, to go there and uh, we used a Tom Tom too. And um, I, you can lease uh, or rent a, uh, timeshares if you want to, and mm -hmm. that's what we did. We did mm -hmm. for three days, and we enjoyed ourselves. And then from there, then we went to uh, Nashville. We went to the Bell, Bell Mead uh, Plantation, so working plantation. Mm -hmm. And then from there, we went to Memphis. And from Memphis, we seen uh, Elvis, Presley's home and everything. And then from there, we went to Paducah which is uh, very nice. They have like a levee there on, on the, mm -hmm. uh, on by the river and uh, they have paintings of all, all historical mm. uh, things and uh, that happened in that town and it's really a nice thing to see. And then, and then that was the end of our trip. We had started <laughs> heading home uh -huh. and we had a very good time. How long did it take you to uh, go? Uh, about five five days, I think it was. Uh huh. Uh huh. And it was very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it take a lot of planning on your part to, uh, you know, to no. decide like where to go and how to go. Well, we all decided between us three. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and it was very nice, and uh, I think uh, we we'd do it again <laughs> if we had a chance. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> But you don't jump on the, you know, car, just, oh, I'm going. No, you right. To you, do right, uh -huh. they have, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so what you did for your food or everything? How? Oh, I had, um, I made uh, spaghetti, and when we got there, right, we heated up some noodles and <laughs> stuff like that, and we had a very good time, you know. So we didn't, and then the other days we ate out for lunch and stuff. Mm -hmm. But we had a real nice time. It was mm -hmm. a very nice timeshare that we had, too. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes um, there are things that hold seniors back from traveling. There are certain, you know, conditions. Or can you think of anything, you know, that would hold somebody back and how that could be overcome, Karen? Okay, uh, I'm giving you my experience on that. Mm -hmm. uh, I have the fear, you know, I cannot now walk that far. Now I cannot do that. Now, mm -hmm. that now becomes so much, you know, for the seniors, a big, 
a question mark. Yes. And I see uh, or hear every day at the barn, I cannot do now. I used to do what I can do. I cannot do this now. Uh -huh. So this now thing is making us, uh, pulling us back, you know. Mm -hmm. Why mm -hmm. bother do this when we cannot do this now? Mm -hmm. But once you do, then you feel, oh, wow, I did it. Yeah. So we have to uh, come over that the fear mm -hmm. cannot do now. Yeah. Yes, you can do. You don't have to walk. If you cannot walk, don't walk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, go sit down and then do things, you know. So we can change in our thinking process mm -hmm. that uh, now is not that question mark. Yes, we can do now. Mm -hmm. I cannot do now. And yes, you can do now, you know. <laughs> so two different things there. Yeah. Well, you can um, uh, rent uh, in, in a lot of these parks and stuff. Wherever you're going, you can rent those uh, Drive, drivable little carts, you know, mm -hmm. and it's worth the uh, it, you know, because you can, it, pay, it costs a little bit money, but mm -hmm. it's worth it. They are very expensive? Well, it uh, depends, like $40 and sometimes 60 How it depends. many people can sit in that? One person only. Well, just for, oh. the, for the person, the person who they can't walk. walk. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah. And it, wor it yeah. works out nice because then this way, if you're going in a park or anything like that, then you can... Uh, get off the, the the ride and get on a ride or something and and uh, and then get back on and you it's kind of nice. Mm -hmm. I know we took a cruise and uh, there were quite a few people who could not really walk that well, mm -hmm. uh, but because we were on the ship, you know, they didn't have to rush. They could go and take their time getting places. And some of them did have the, the little electric carts, which was good. So that shouldn't stop anybody <clears throat> from going on vacation. And uh, even finances sometimes, you know, if you think you can't afford it, maybe there are some things you can do, like even day trips, which we're going to talk about, you know, later on, um, that are not as costly, you know. And uh, there's always a way to get around that. Um, I wanted to ask you, Barbara, too, um, about how you handle eating when you're on vacation. I know that's always a problem. Yeah, well, um, I try to watch my carbs, you know, mm -hmm. and that, and, mm -hmm. and that, like that, because of uh, I'm diabetic. And uh, so you have to watch what you're eating. Mm -hmm. And just eat more vegetables. And mm -hmm. uh, some protein. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How about you, Karen? But it is not that hard that being a diabetes, you know, if you miss the time or something, you feel dizzy or... Right. You, know, the, you, you never, have to eat regularly, correct? Yes, you do. Every, uh, well, most people, if mm -hmm. they're diabetic, they eat every couple hours, mm -hmm. you know, and keep your, your sugar level right. Yeah, well, thank you very much. Uh, we're going to take a break, so please stay tuned. And when we return, we'll be talking about three types of travel. We'll be talking about day trips, guided uh, tours, and self-directed travel. Welcome back to Change. Joining our panel is Dale Alm, who's also a member of the Senior Barn in Schomburg. And we welcome you, Dale. Thank you. All right. So we're going to get uh, into day trips right now. That's what we're talking about. And uh, in our community, there's a lot of uh, places that offer the day trips. I know I get this uh, brochure from the Schomburg uh, Township District Library at least every other month. And uh, also the park district uh, sends out a brochure three times a year. Um, if they, you don't get them in the mail, you can go pick them up and find out what's going on, what uh, trips are available. And if there's anything that interests you, you can sign up. I know that sometimes the barn has uh, different little trips that uh, are available just as uh, the hospital, I think Golden Circle, you know, does that too. So mm -hmm. plenty of opportunities in our community to travel. 
And um, so uh, I'd like to start off with uh, you, Barbara. Um, what are some of the uh, trips that you've enjoyed, the day trips? Oh, uh, we went to uh, downtown and uh, mm -hmm. we've seen, uh, a ho remember that uh, horses with the, in that barn? Oh, and, yeah. That, and it was uh, a real good show on horses. It, I, I don't exactly know where it was, but it was a very tight squeeze, remember, with the boss yeah. and that. <laughs> and yeah. then we, had, we ate there, too, mm -hmm. in that. And I think we went somewhere else after that, too. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we've seen a couple of, uh, not plays, but... Um, musicals and stuff mm -hmm. and that and mm -hmm. I've, I've enjoyed that very mm -hmm. much. Well I know some of them have been at Drury Lane too yes. and they have a fantastic uh, Sunday brunch. Oh the brunch. <laughs> Out of sight. Oh yes it is. You would love it. <laughs> you know Karen I wanted to ask you um, you've been on some day trips uh, they have some at the barn too don't mm -hmm. they? Mm -hmm. You want to tell us about those? Oh yes we uh, went to very good trip was we went to Odyssey boat trip. Oh, yeah, and wow. it and uh, thanks to Park District they gave us you know bus, and uh, we have about forty seniors or forty five, and it was so much fun on this Odyssey boat you know, uh -huh. and we were cruising on that and the music band and the food oh boy yeah yes seniors they enjoy the food so much you know, and uh, then we went to. Uh, circus also. Oh, you did? Uh-huh. Wow. Uh, and uh, that was also very good trip because uh -huh. uh, got very good seat and a very reasonable price. I think seniors paid only uh, $10. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so our day trips were very interesting, you know. Mm -hmm. And also I took seniors to Lamont uh, Hindu temple. Oh, that was and, interesting. Uh, uh, all the doctors, they are, you know, member of this temple, mm -hmm. majority were. So they were there that day to receiving seniors and uh, bringing water and you name it. And they are saying, when we come to your office, you charge $300. Bring more water to us. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and they serve lunch, great. you know, everything. Uh -huh. And they explain uh, all about the deities and uh, the whole concept, you know, it was very good trip and seniors. They enjoyed a lot, you know, on that. That's very And totally nice. free because uh -huh. we have four uh, cars. One myself, my son, my daughter, Barbara. Mm -hmm. and we all, you know, have seniors in that car. Mm -hmm. And it was a very good trip, yeah. Oh, that was so great. Quite, you know, learning experience, you know, cultural. Mm -hmm. So we mm -hmm. enjoyed that, yeah. That's great. And also we go to casino on one day. Mm -hmm. But that is not, I don't call the trip trip because seniors having so much uh, pressure on their head, win or lose. Oh my God, I'm losing, you know. <laughs> so yeah. that is not a you know, fun trip, you know. Uh -huh. The pressure not is there. Not unless you win, right? Yes. <laughs> so that's why I always say, if you want to lose money, go to casino. Ah. You want to make money, go to casino. You know, you <laughs> That's yeah. a fun. Oh, yes. that's great. Hey, Dale, have you uh, been on any uh, day trips that uh, re you remember as being terrific? Well, I can remember one from the barn when we went to the Horseshoe Casino. Oh, did you win? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> well, for me, I think I won uh, 50 cents. <laughs> wow. Well, you came out unscathed, huh? I'm a big huh? spender right? yes. when it comes to gambling. <laughs> but that was very nice. Uh -huh. It so happens that my uh, brother lives near there. Mm -hmm. And so he and his wife come over and join us while we're out there with the uh, people from the barn. Yeah. So yeah. That's, uh, that was very nice. Excellent uh, food. They have a terrific uh you, you couldn't actually call it a cafeteria, uh -huh. more like a very large buffet there. Uh -huh. And, uh, of course, first-rate uh, food, first-rate facilities. And what's interesting, when you're in the restaurant there, there is a real terrific view of the skyline of Chicago. Oh. You get a view over the, over the lake because of the way the lake curves around. Uh, you look out over in the lake, and uh, there is the skyline of Chicago behind it. It's beautiful. Yeah, very impressive. Very impressive, <laughs> yes. Yeah. I also went on another uh, 
day trip one time, and my brother and I, we were on vacation up in uh, Hibbing, Minnesota mm -hmm. with our wives, and we were staying in a condo there. And uh, we had seen in, uh, I don't know, one of the tourist uh, offices, places from the state of Minnesota that we stopped at, a brochure for a day trip to uh, a high energy physics lab. Whoa, now my wow. brother and I are very <laughs> interested in that. This one was special because it's 3,000 feet underground. Mm. They have an abandoned uh, iron mine uh, that they used to use and uh, they, uh, the company United States Steel donated it to the park uh, service in uh, Minnesota. Hmm. And the Minnesota Park Department uh, made it into a, uh, a museum, if you will, and mm -hmm. you can take trips down there. They have the elevator that still works. It goes down 3,000 feet oh, underground. Oh, my goodness. And the uh, people from Fermilab apparently contacted them and said they want to run an experiment. They're going to build a detector up there in Minnesota, 3,000 feet underground. This, is, this detector is a huge thing. It's about half the size of a football field, mm -hmm. consisting of a bunch of huge plates, maybe 50 feet in diameter. They're built up, uh, big things made special so that they will detect these particular type of particles. Mm -hmm. High energy physics particles. Mm -hmm. The people at Fermilab send it underground from Batavia all the way to Minnesota. Oh my goodness. And what they're <laughs> hoping is going to happen that these type of particles they're sending are going to change to this other type of particle that has never been seen. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so if they see them, the sky would part, I guess, you know, and everybody would uh, ha be happy and uh, clapping of hands. Uh -huh. and, uh, yeah. They'd even get a quarter from somebody maybe or something <laughs> like that, you know. Well, but that's but true. A, a very, uh, it will prove a, a great theorem uh, that they have postulated but have never mm -hmm. been able to prove in actual practice. So it was quite an interesting trip, very well, interesting. I guess, uh, you know, that, that would be very interesting. Also, some history trips or things like that would be good. But we have to take a break right now, and uh, when we get back, we're going to talk about uh, guided tours. Welcome back to Change. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, guided tours right now. Um, Barbara, what do you think are the pros and cons of a guided tour? Because you've been to uh, Australia, haven't you? Yes, I uh -huh. have. Uh, yeah. when, uh, those are very nice. Uh, we went to uh, with the Mayflower, mm -hmm. and that was a very nice trip. There was only 15 people on our bus, but we had gone to Sydney and Melbourne and um, there's another one, but anyway, they had uh, very good things there uh, mm -hmm. to see and um, nice parade and uh, everything. They they took mm -hmm. us on a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And the um, uh, one in Melbourne, we were going to see uh, they had a uh, the Olympics going through oh, the, the my uh, what do you call it the flame or whatever, mm -hmm. and that's Gosh. what. Yeah, the torch, mm -hmm. the torch, yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, that's what they did, and that was kind of nice too. Wow, what a Can you think of any negative things about taking uh, a guided tour as opposed to? Uh, 
No, I don't think so. But no. uh, even when we go downtown, uh, when we have gone on day trips, and uh, they, they've always had good, uh, mm -hmm. you know, guides mm -hmm. there. And yeah, they need, yeah, yeah, no, no complaints. Uh -huh, great. <laughs> How about you, Dale? Any? Uh... Well, the most favorite one I can think of is we went to uh, Alaska for thirteen days. Mm -hmm. We flew in from here to. Uh, Anchorage, and there was about uh, just about 50 people on the bus, and the size of the group was determined on how many people could fit on a bus, a tour bus, once we got there. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we went by sea, by train, by bus, all over the state of Alaska. We went from one end of the other on the Elkan Highway in one of these large articulated Buses, two buses long with the accordion in the middle. <laughs> I've seen those, yeah. And the back end was a lounge where you could excrete, of course, and then you could have drinks and food and stuff like that as we're traveling, and we travel all day. And uh, the front part was for sitting and, uh, you know, watching mm -hmm. while you're going along through uh, the beauty of Alaska and the, uh, the natural things that were there. After that, uh, we took trains, you know, from one end of Alaska to another. And mm -hmm. finally, the last four days, uh, we got off uh, in Juneau onto a, a ship, mm. uh, a very large ship, typical uh, seagoing vessel. Mm -hmm. And uh, we went out uh, into the Gulf of Alaska and started our trip. Mm -hmm. And uh, we encountered a storm with... Uh, uh, a low reading on the barometer that the captain said was the lowest one he'd ever seen in his 28 years of service. <laughs> we encountered 60-foot waves oh my goodness. that threw this 1,000-foot boat around <laughs> like a top, you know. <laughs> Did anybody get seasick? <laughs> Everyone got seasick, including the crew. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So that, yeah. was, that was very interesting, but it was a beautiful yeah. trip, yeah. all of it. And, I, I really couldn't think of any negative things uh -huh. to say about uh -huh. that. They took care of all the baggage handling, uh -huh. which is very important, mm -hmm. and making all the reservations and, uh, you know, the hotels and mm -hmm. places you're going to eat and things you're going to see while you're on the ship. So it was really uh, the most wonderful trip I've ever been on. Great. So you don't really have to worry when you're going on that trip. Uh, all the details are taken care of, and as you can really you, relax and As long as you it. have a good guide, they yeah. take care of all the yeah. details uh -huh. and a lot of paperwork and uh, governmental things, you know, mm -hmm. when you're going from here to there. Uh, like handling the passports and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, things like that. Mm -hmm. So it, it really it really is an enhancement to enjoying your trip. Great. That's wonderful. Uh, Karen, have you uh, experienced any pros or cons on a, on a guided tour? No, we arrange all our own trips. Oh, you do your own. Well, yeah, we'll be because talking. Because thank God, wherever we were planning, relatives are there, you know. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> lodging, boarding free. Mm -hmm. And they are there to graciously take us where we are planning to go, you know. Well, that's pretty nice. So it was very nice, you know, <laughs> homely, uh -huh. homey atmosphere and everything, yeah. Oh, good. So that was very good, yeah. Good. So. Um, I wanted to ask you, Barbara, what do you do to prepare for emergencies when you go on trips? What if there's an emergency? How do you... Um, what do you do? I mean, do you take out uh, insurance or do you? Oh, yes. I, I always take, uh, like, we're going on to Branson's this November, and I mm -hmm. did. I, I took the insurance already, yeah, in case, so, just in case I get sick or something. Yeah. So what does the insurance do? What does it cover? Um, it covers everything, and, then, and you can get out of the um, out of the things. In case you couldn't go, then you, you can get out of the. Uh, so they maybe give you your money back? Yes, you know? they get your money back. Yeah, and mm -hmm. uh, also. Does it include like a medical emergencies and things like that? Yes, that they it might does. cover it. Yes, they cover yeah, my, yeah. Uh -huh. even though they do have you know Medicare and everything right. like that. It does. Uh -huh. so. uh, Kieran, so can you are, think of uh, some other ways you would uh, prepare for any emergency? Uh, a, we must have you know uh, emergency number because everywhere nine one one does not work. You know mm -hmm. when you are abroad. You know. So you should know something before mm. we go there. Number two, we have to have 
our clothings according to their season. You know, sometimes we don't know. Like it's today, very true. here in Chicago, it's a little chilly. Mm -hmm. It is July. Mm -hmm. So everywhere the weather is changing. So we must prepare something, you know, oh, yeah. for, you know, our warm and uh, light clothing. Mm -hmm. And don't carry too much, you know. Mm -hmm. And basic first aid things should be with us. Yes. That is a must, you know. Uh, we should take that. And uh, also water or some candy or candy bar, uh, some snacks should be with us. Don't depend on the guided tour. They will, they have their time. They will serve, suppose eight o'clock morning tea or you know, mm -hmm. snacks, lunch and then snacks. So don't depend, something we should carry with us, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, and some little extra money beside that. Mm -hmm. we, we never know what, can come, you know, Very true. and how we can handle that. Mm -hmm. And lightweight, that is the uh, is a must thing. Right. You know? Don't carry too much because we are not going there for show or fashion parade. Mm -hmm. As much we are light, we are going to enjoy most. Mm -hmm. Do you have any uh, ideas about us preparing for emergency too, Dale? Yes. Always look at the map, and uh, I always take a map with me. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, one of my best examples is my brother and I were going on a, uh, a guided tour in Washington, D.C., a day trip. Mm -hmm. And it was a place that was taking us to things like the, uh, the treasury where they make the money and uh, various museums and monuments and things like that. Mm -hmm. And the last thing on the tour uh, was uh, going to be a shipyard well, on the second to last uh, thing that we visited, which was the Holocaust Museum, mm -hmm. the tour bus left us there. <gasps> oh, they no. left early. We were there five minutes before the assigned time that we were supposed to be there, uh -huh. and the bus is already gone. Oh, my so goodness. now what do we do? We've, we're left at a you know, a unique part of Washington that we hadn't planned on going. And the worst thing about it was that we missed going to the Navy Yard, which was the thing that we really <laughs> wanted on this trip. Yeah. But fortunately, I had a map. Uh -huh. We were able to get on the uh, subway, you know, and, and come home. It's great. That's a great idea. Well, that's uh, a lot we've learned about travel. And... Um to any seniors out there, if you want to come to the barn for lunch or to meet people so that you can get potential traveling partners, uh, please call Karen at 847-524-7496. Uh, and who knows, you know, uh, you might even enjoy the bingo while you're there. <laughs> so take care and we'll see you again for change. <laughs>